Grace Rowland has a new puppy to help her over the grief of losing a longtime companion, Ginger, her eight-year-old golden retriever. And I beat myself up really hard because I feel like I played a role in causing her death when I really thought that I was protecting her. Rowland feels guilty because Ginger's immune system failed after she received her annual vaccines. Now that I've done all this research, it seems that over, the overuse of vaccinations cause this autoimmune disorder. Barbara Jeffries agrees. She's with an animal rescue group and has also watched a dog die. The dog bled out and it was due to having too many vaccinations. Jeffries and Roland want other dog owners to know about this potential danger and about a new test that could protect pets. The Tiger test for immunity has only been around a few years. It's made by a company in San Diego called Symbiotics. Dr. Michael Harrod says the titer test is a little more expensive than vaccines, but he says they are a simple proven technique that tells dog owners if their pets need boosters for parvo and distemper. If the dog did respond and you have an adequate level of antibodies, vaccines would be of no benefit. He says research shows in rare cases unneeded vaccines could harm pets. Over vaccinating isn't good. Under vaccinating isn't good. Dr. Grafton Houston is one of the few San Diego vets who offer titer tests. He says the jury is still out on this issue. And every dog's different, every neighborhood's different. There's diseases we don't have here that they'd have in Orange County, you know, so it, it, there isn't a protocol right now. But Denise Rowland is convinced. She says her new puppy won't receive any more vaccines unless she's been tested first. With photojournalist Richard Klein, I'm Marty Emerald, 10 News. For more on the Titer Test, you can go to our website. It's 10news.com.